prepare this before I started. Right, that's enough of that. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, everybody? We're about to get into some sound design. And also, just talk about a song I'm dropping tomorrow, which is the Alex Martian remix of Amends. Um... I'm not really sure what to say after this. It's just, I'm just like streaming out of nowhere. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here, do some random sound design, kind of explain what I'm doing as I go along. Um, and you guys can answer, ask questions or request any sound design tips that you would like to know about. Also, just let me know if the audio is good, too, because I spent, like, 30 minutes just adjusting all the filters and um, compression stuff. What else? Yeah. <laughs> God, I don't do this often, but let's get into it. Okay, I, I think the first, the first thing I'm going to do is a design, like, a crazy... Neurofunk bass. Awesome. 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 Yo, Coben. What's good, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How you doing? Right, so I'm gonna this I'm gonna design a neurofunk bass using harmless. <laughs> and 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 I'm I'm like and you're asking me why harmless? Well, the sine waves in harmless are so are so thick i don't know what it is it just it's just much thicker compared to like let me pull up citrus or something like i don't know citrus has a lot more attack in it but like harmless has like some good harmonics you know and i'm already out of my depth oh man no no come on man we're here to learn I'm also here to learn from you guys, because sometimes on stream, someone will show me something new, and I'll be like, holy shit, I didn't know that. Uh, Harmless is not free. I think you buy it with, like, the full version of FL Studio. But if you're somehow able to afford the signature bundle, it comes, um, comes with it. Yo, yo, what's good, Zarin? Never used harmer or harmless. Oh, bro, I'm about to put you on some, some, some secrets, some secrets today. You just watch. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with. Uh, I made a sine wave preset because when you load the default preset, you get this like subtractive um, synth preset that's not very good okay actually i'm gonna start from complete scratch so if you get on like um if you get on the default preset in harmless and you want uh, a sine wave all you have to do is turn up the mix here it's gonna start off like this so this is harmonic mask is like how you create wave tables but unfortunately like what's supposed to happen when you um oh hang on this kind of works too, actually, but like it's quieter, which is it's kind of strange. Dance, whatever. So many knobs, bro. This is tame compared to this. <laughs> this is uh, this is small compared to Harmer. I <laughs> Trust me, it's like everything in Harmer is like a lot more simple than you think. Like if you know, if you know what a wavetable, oscillator, filter, LFO, um, effects, etc. is, then you're pretty much set in any synth. You just gotta know where things are. I'm pretty, I'm, well, that's obvious. <laughs> Yeah, I, that was a mix um, I made for fun a while back, just to practice like DJing. 
in general. All right, wait, so let me start again. So we start off with turning up the mix. You have to turn on the harmonic mask, which is how you make wavetables in Harmless. And then turn down everything except for number one over here, because that's the low, you know, harmonic. If you don't know what I mean by harmonic, uh, I this is going to be like a very bad way to explain it, but like you just imagine harmonics like an EQ, except you're like manipulating the the probably again probably explaining this very wrong but you manipulate the highs lows etc of every um you imagine it like an eq like you this is like the eq of the wavetable in, in a sense <laughs> that's what harmonics are so for some reason in harmless when you turn down everything and leave everything here. It's supposed to be left with the sine wave, but I don't know why it doesn't like make a complete clean sine wave. Yo, Haros, what's up, man? Um, so because of that, you have to use the EQ over here. And this EQ is super useful, by the way. I love it so much. And then the timber is on saw. Wait, just hear me out, just hear me out. Cause like, if you have it on mole, you can't do this, which I need later. <laughs> but yeah you turn down the equalizer like this and you get like a cool uh little sine wave thing going on so hey harmonic is an overtone another pitch playing at the same time as the fundamental created by a note depending on the shape of the wave being played different harmonics will play yep that's i don't know that's if anyone's anyone like wants to know what a harmonic is look in the comments Cobin just explained it much better than i ever could like i have the concept of what harmonics are in my head but i don't exactly know how to like explain it to a 10 year old um but yeah so we have a sine wave now i'm gonna just turn up the harmonic mask over here just like this maybe Next, I'm going to turn up the unison, and then th what we're doing here is basically taking, we're duplicating one voice into two or three, or you can have up, to, have up to nine, so you make two, and once you detune them, you get that kind of movement, which you, we, will, we will really, really need later. Um, next, I'm going to put the mono... On the mono mo monophonic mode on the mono mode as i like to call it and then all we need is just a tiny bit of distortion so we can have some crunch to filter out later so we can like introduce more movement already you can hear that sounding like pretty good actually you could, you could even use this by itself actually i'm gonna save this starter yeah oh yeah big tip for everyone in fl save your presets like if even if it's um little tweak on fruity limiter or it's like uh it's like an eq like i've got i want a quick high cut i've got high cut presets low pass notch and pass makes things so much easier like the more presets you save, the faster your workflow is gonna be. I've just I've just discovered that um, a while back. Okay, so so real. I know it's an it's a super obvious thing. Like yes, save your presets, but it's so <laughs> it's taken me eight years to realize that saving presets is super important, and you know it's really good to like just have them at hand. So you can just put drag and drop stuff when you want to like do some quick mixing or anything like that. Okay, um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to distort first, then filter, or filter, then distort. But we'll, ex we'll experiment a little bit and see what we can do. By the way, guys, if you have any questions... For me like oh how did you make so and so a sound in your song 
I'll I'll do my best to like deconstruct it and um just show the process and how I do how I did everything. You know what distortion you should you should do? You should try the plugin I've worked on, LaFunk. Dude, hit me up, send it to me. Whisper it to me. I'm I'm down to check it out. Hashtag ad. Did you get an ad? God, I hope not. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is just EQ this first part like this. Then we're going to grab Maximus. Okay, now Maximus uh, is a godsend for compression. I love it so much. I've only recently learned how to use it properly. I mean, I don't completely know how it works, but I've I've learned the basics enough to know like how everything works. Ellis Burr, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. My mic sounds crispy because I know how compression works and I was able to... <laughs> Uh, after 10 years, I finally know how compression works. I was able to like control these so it, so it sounds sounds better. So everything sounds like crisp and like OTT times 10. Very efficient. Yes, yes. It's the best way to compress stuff. <laughs> also, some people some people in the chat have um icons on them like they have uh, a mute watching without audio oh fair listening only what how is that possible yeah some people in the chat have these things next to their name god i don't use twitch often i don't know what that is Okay, um, so what I was going to do here is uh, turn this off. So we only got two bands. Um, and in Maximus, you can distort stuff. You can distort each band, which I really like. Uh, wait, what did I just do? That's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, I just need that top crunch in there. Oh yeah, Paper, um, Paper Skies was actually telling me about you guys' resonator. I completely forgot to mention, like, it sounds really sick. He also de demonstrated it on uh, IG Live. And I don't really use resonators that often, because I'm not exactly sure what they do. I know, I know they, like, add um, melodic artifacts to anything you run through it, or you can, like, turn anything you put through it into a chord, but I've just never, like made full use of okay hang on you sent it in the dms where are my dms and i just opened blender i think did i oh no i didn't okay nice where are your dms where are they they normally appear somewhere here or did you send on discord Wait, hang on. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. Right default. Oops. DMs leaked. AO. Gumroad, let's go. Yo, I'm gonna send you $10. Because I'm generous. Hell yeah. Where am I from? I current I currently live in the UK. I don't sound like it, but sometimes I sound like it, sometimes I don't. Plus ten, easy. Hell yeah. 
It looks cool, I'll check it out later. Okay, let me just drop... Actually, wait, let me do all this in Patcher, because, um... Like, it's it's cool to do it in the inserts, but I eventually run out of space in the inserts, so we're gonna do all the effects in Patcher, and sorry for those who don't know how Patcher works. Uh, maybe today you'll learn, but, um... Anyone that doesn't know how to use Patcher, like, you gotta pick it up. It's, like, super... <clears throat> excuse me. It's extremely essential nope doesn't sound brick to me good <laughs> i don't want to <laughs> i really don't want to sound british black city is a nerd i'm a nerd and proud british yeah no i'll never understand the like thing where they miss the t in words like that's just no or I prefer south ac uh, th southern accents, but like northern ones, not so much. Explain mandem. I don't get your guys' slang. Uh, mandem is like it mostly refers to like your group of guy friends, or like um, you can refer it. You can refer to your friend group as a mandem <laughs> that's what it means like like as in i'm gonna hang with the mandem or gonna hang with yeah that's that's what that means such a weird such a weird word that i've always just been stumped about anyway uh what i'm doing here is distorting the high end or like some of the high end so i can once I distort later on, it's gonna be easy to create that movement with a certain with certain filters and whatnot. Let me just cut like roll maybe drop the filth in the low end here. I kind of don't like that. Actually, what in? Uh, actually, no. Wait, I'm gonna do this with stock stuff. I was about to pull up uh, Fab Filter Saturn, but I don't want to cheat. And I know I know stock plugins better than uh, better than. It's possible to do it. It's very it's, it well it you take it takes a lot of um a lot of inserts to do, but um stock is just what I know best. Wave shaper. Oh, why did I disconnect that? Oh no. What have I done? Main output there we go. Yeah, it is. Actually, I could use it right now, to be honest. Oh, God. Also, it's super important before you, like, start um, doing the significant processing on a Neurofunk bass that you, like make sure the fundament like the starting sound is good like if you can wait if i turn this if i turn off the effect you just gotta make sure you can hear like some crunch in the sound before you actually move on because that's super important for like later on oh i've been working on some patch of presets today I have so many patch of presets I use. Well, not so, this is not so many, but um, I, I've like made all these, and I've not really had to, um, not really had to make any more after that, which is crazy. 
I'm not taking care of the installer and most of the programming, but don't worry, we tested multiple times. I'm sure it works. Like, it sounds like you guys have already, like, fixed everything already. Well, by the way, Papist guys explained it to me anyway. Okay, so once I've crunched everything up, actually, I'm also going to do this. So I made... <laughs> I made a makeshift erosion from Ableton. It like, I don't know, it's just a preset that adds noise on top of anything that you run through it. Um, but like, I still need to tweak all the like surface stuff here, make it look cleaner. But it works, it works very well. You can use it to add noise on top of drums or samples or anything else that you might need noise on also i don't like the stereo spread here so i'm just gonna turn that down i'm gonna turn down the gonna turn the uh mono on over here and then now we start filtering. So we've got a notch filter here. So one way I kind of do this is I take like two EQs like this, split them apart, and then put them into, let me just do this. No, wait, not that one. This, this. So one will be a band pass, and then the other one will like be a quick high cut thing gonna process all the high end like this you can hear that resonating but I could also kind of add an EQ here so that when this filters down it doesn't doesn't sound horrible yeah shout out to bandpass filters I made mean, a cool one that turns any saw pad into into orchestral strings what this sound good uh, i've done the same thing i've used four wave shapers and four wave shapers split banded shout out comb filters hell yeah i don't use comb filters that much because i have no idea how like what's what's the use case for comb, for comb, for comb filters because they sound weird to me <laughs> Okay, um... So, now we're gonna start adding, uh, knobs in the surface over here. Uh, no, that's a bevel. Where's the knobs? There is the knobs. I'm gonna add one, two, three knobs here. Um, just gonna name them as what am I brain dead? Yes, okay, here and pass. Uh, this one will be for no, wait, actually, we'll save this for another thing later. And pass goes into here, so we'll connect this one there. The band pass. Yep. So now we got this kind of got this kind of thing going on. A uh, surface is just a way for you to put like knobs here that you can use to control um things in here. So th this EQ. Uh, what's what's this thing called? The, uh, 
the frequency the frequency knob on the EQ is going into surface that's controlling this so I can automate it later. Does D blue tape stop still work? Uh mine doesn't work. I don't think it does. Or do I even have it? No, I think I deleted it because it didn't work. It wasn't working anymore. When you natu when you learn how to naturally use patch like this, you also naturally learn how to diffuse bombs. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, okay, I haven't missed much in the chat. So after um, connecting that bandpass to that, we're going to... What am I trying to do here? So first of all, this thing is becoming too loud, so I'm going to EQ it, uh, sorry, compress it. Just a little bit, just a little bit of compression. Okay, now we're gonna activate this. We're gonna put um we're gonna put a pattern in the playlist like that, and then make sure notes automation is on, notes is off, and all the rest of that stuff is off so you don't like record anything else by accident. And now we're gonna start just kind of No. Oh my god. I hate it when that happens. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We'll do this. Yep, I'm using event automation because uh, I like freeforming my stuff. Ah, oh, it's so cool that we're getting that. I'm just gonna edit the EQ in this like makeshift erosion that I made a while back. And then maybe uh do this in Vocodex. Uh, Come filters basically cause the same sound to be played out be played but slightly delayed which causes phasing and that leads to peaks and troughs basically like a delay with really short de delay time like intentional phasing oh okay <laughs> I didn't know that's what they do. Wait, so like, what's a... Hang on, is there some kind of... I just want to know what they do in general, because like, I just want to see if there's like a... So let's say... Uh... Is a comb filter sometimes called an all pass? Or something like that? Ugh, there's so many things in my plugins called filter. Does this one have a low and all pass? Nope. Band pass, low pass, blah blah blah. No. Air. Now this noise is a little, a little distracting, so I'm just gonna take that off. We're gonna add another Maximus here, so I can like distort the. Also, one thing I forgot to do is turn off. Okay, the low cut in all these Maximuses. Yep. 
Oh, it does? Destructor. I do not use Destructor at all. Let's see. Oh, it's got combs. It's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really know what kind of use case this would have, because it sounds so weird to me. It would be cool for certain things. Uh, where's the where's the old pass filter? That's that's a notch. Old pass. That's doing nothing. Eh, I'll check it out later. F for the P. <laughs> God, I'm listening to this on headphones. It's really, really digging into my eardrum right now. That kind of works. So we'll just automate that real quick using the pattern that I have here. Hell yeah. I just hope this compressor is doing its thing. Because absolutely rip to everyone using headphones right now, <laughs> including me. Also, for those of you that have just joined the stream, I'm literally doing this sound from Harmless, which is nuts. Yeah, this is event automation. This is how you like freeform some automation stuff in FL. I like using it for like filter cutoffs and like natural sounding filter cutoffs and stuff. <laughs> Like, normally I don't put a compressor on top of things that I sound design, but for those of you, for those of us that are, like, very um, mindful of their ears, that this one's for you. There's a lot of... Actually, wait, uh, more 
EQs, all the EQs. We're gonna do, hang on, we'll do this, and then just make it gentle. Just gently. But it is losing some of the like body of the sound. Uh, but I don't, I don't like how that's resonating a lot. So, what I think I'll do is activate that and then add AP controller. Run that. Run that shit back. Actually, we don't need to do this. We don't need to run it into the limiter. We just need to activate the peak. Um, connect this to... Oh, doesn't like that. Okay, we'll connect you to here and you to here and then do this. Yep. Oops, I put the wrong thing on... <laughs> put the wrong thing here one sec uh disconnect this put this here yep uh yep now we just gotta adjust the p controller to uh i in when you're making um sounds like this using stock plugins you're gonna be using a lot a lot of uh, hang on I'm gonna be using a lot of plugins. Actually, yeah, it's just this region that I'm trying to control, actually. Oh, yeah, sure. That's what it sounds like right now. And it's with the patch on. The bass sound sounds louder than the... Uh, Affected sound actually, or should I say wet? The dry sounds louder than the wet. Yo, Segfault, what's up? What's up, homie? You know what I'm trying to like. One thing I'm trying to figure out how to do. You know, how, you know how killing the noise um has. Well, let's see here. Uh, noise part one. I'm trying to get that. Uh, I don't know if the sound is even coming through. Yes, it is. Yeah, like um, in Kill the Noises bases, there's like uh. This sounds there seems to be this like subtle bit crushing in the highs I'm, and I'm just wondering how he even does that. Like I wish I could take this sound and then just add that like um bit crushed artifact to it, but I have no idea how to do that. Okay, uh now we have all that done. We're gonna move on to another patcher. And I have this preset, which is literally, um, let me just do this. It's literally just a distorted reverb that I can just like add every so often. And 
you can see how that's like um you can see how that's introducing a bit more like movement also what does uh what does a disperser sound like on this i wonder yeah, that sounds pretty good. Kill the Noise uses a lot of stock plug Ableton plugins. Ableton plugins are actually powerful. The so they're wild. Okay, now I'm just gonna edit this reverb because I don't really like how it's sounding. Just a little, a little bit of stereo widening. Uh, this it's a built-in disperser like preset in Patcher. I I don't know how this is made. It comes with FL. Everyone has it, I believe. But I'm not sure how exactly that works. But it's super useful. It's um, not as good as the, ki the kilohertz one, but it still works. Okay, now we're going to edit, automate some of this stuff real quick. Uh, let me see. The struggle. Come on, bro. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna rehand the last the last few parts. Actually, wait, I could rehand the whole. No, 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 wait. That's 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 not good. That's not good. We gotta like do some very sparing peaks in here. Uh, like this maybe. Nope, that's too high. Yep. There, done. <laughs> Right now we're just gonna EQ the overall sound. And compress or expand, whatever you prefer, so that it's nice powerful it's got body it's powerful think with me knowing this i would make more bass music but unfortunately i don't i am um, i am weird i just find uh find it fun to figure out these kind of sounds and then like apply the knowledge that i get from them into other things i do not have sausage fattener unfortunately <laughs> but that would be hilarious to add but you know what i do got though oh it's the boy, it's the boy, Salvadizer, let's go! Yo! <laughs> Actually sounds pretty sick actually. Okay, no, 
now let's create what Mr. Bill calls a mud pie and just run this through Edison and just record a bunch of... Absolutely right. This base is nasty. It's nasty, bro. It's dirty. It's dirty. Ugh. Right. Let me just save this for future use. Um in my collection. Uh where is it at? Where is it at? Where is that folder? Why do I always struggle to find there it is? Yes, I have only made three neurofunk bases in my entire life. <laughs> now i'm probably not gonna run this uh, actually no wait it, it would be interesting to see what it sounds like to the same chain but i'm sorry in, in advance if it's oh god yeah no 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 thank you no my ears Get dirty like my bruh, bruh, <laughs> like my drops. <laughs> my mans, be careful. What's up? Okay. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to wipe? I don't know, is it? Tear out, tear out anyone. Let's go. Actually, let me do it this way. Let's try transient mode. Doctors say making at least one mud pie per day is a sign of good health. I make like two of these, so... I'm terrible at tear out. I'll never try. I mean, I've, I've tried it before where did i how do i do this um because i saved i made tear out on my mac i'm just trying to see how i could how i could send it to myself Uh, let's see. Nope, I do not. Okay. <laughs> God. All right. Let's see. Hang on. I got, I got you. I got you. I do have some tear out but it's not as good. 
not as good. Uh, I tried to be Marauda. Tried very, very hard to be Marauda. <laughs> Hang on, let me play this for you guys real quick. I mean, it's decent. It's decent. And I got the drums like pretty spot on too. If this thing could just work for me real quick. Okay, thank you. Yeah, see, it's not as full or like hard hitting because I have no idea how dubstep producers get their th stuff so loud and punchy without clipping horribly. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw it, but that deal for the UV bund bundle on FLS website is seriously worth it, especially for shade alone. That thing is amazing. UV, what? Are we talking about 3D modeling now? Or what? That waveform, yeah. <laughs> it's so thin. <laughs> I didn't even master this. I just like tried to get the sound design right. Hang on. You know what this needs? You know what this fucking needs? This shit right here. I know, right? <laughs> nah, G Clip is t is cheating though. Go to dubstep equals distort. Yes. G Clip, my beloved. It's honestly so good. Oh, that's dirty. Why does it sound like a mess, though? That's crazy. That's nuts. Yo, it's getting crazier. an F sharp five? I don't know. I don't know music theory. Basic mu music theory or notes on a keyboard. Uh, Shade is an amazing EQ modulation tool, basically patcher in a single plugin. Oh, I gotta check this out. Deal for the UV bundle on FL's website is seriously with perfect for Shade alone. That thing is amazing. UV bundle. Sound expanded premium instruments and effects from our friends UV bundled for you. Oh, God, so many, so many new plugins to learn. Oh, this looks fun. Eight bit synth. Nice. Emulation 2, so we got synths, drums, oh we got drums, drum designer, beatbox anthology, scratch machine, okay, 
cinematic, but where's the effect stuff? You, oh, there, okay, that's effect stuff. Shade combining an unparalleled section of 35 filter shapes and 10 types of modulators limited by your imagination only. Got a delay and a, a reverb. I like that they added like this little rainbow thing because like that's how I that's how I imagine reverb in my head when I hear it. St Stimate is seriously worth it. Bought shade on release. Uh, just kidding. And so story that I don't think it's a note. Yeah, no, it's this this mud pie is mangled now. It's beyond my control. All right, I'm gonna save this sound design session as mud pie. I think I've made made about four of these in my entire life. All right, that's enough torturing torturing my ears for one second. I don't know what FL is trying to find, dude. What are you trying to do? What are you looking for there? What are you looking for? What are you what are you trying to? F sharp five is basically a C sharp, but without the third, unless you mean F with sharp five. My brain cannot process that. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm serious. What does that mean? My brain does not know. Okay, FL, die. Die, FL. Goodbye, FL. Hello, new FL. Uh, yep. Okay, everything's still there. Breakdown tropical. Let's see. I don't exactly know what I have in that project, but, um... Let's see. Let's open this up, baby! Today you guys are gonna learn how I made Tropical. Does that feel good with Melodyne? I have no idea. I've never tried it before. Never tried Melodyne before. Can you break down my life? <laughs> hmm. What would I say in this moment? Am I going to try to make Tropical House? I have done it a few times. I probably have a 16 bar loop sitting around somewhere. Or a full song. Also, uh, some of the samples might be missing. Because my hard drives change all the time. How does FL lose files? I don't get it. Is it because the files have not been or two in so long that it like stops caring and then it's just like yeah fuck you I prefer to use Melodyne standalone and then add the processed audio audio to my FL project afterwards personally man everyone in FL just use just use pitch um what's it called um new tone new tone is awesome I don't know if you're trying to use it for vocals or anything else, but new tone, the new tone is underrated and it deserves more attention. Because I especially love it for tuning vocals. It's got so many things under the hood that you can like manipulate and do to make things sound in tune. Yeah, new tone is the move for FL users. Don't, don't torture yourself with Melodyne and trying to get it to work. Okay, we're just gonna skip that. I don't know what it's trying to find in there. It's probably a very important sample. Yeah, and I bet Melodyne is a lot more powerful though. I've just, But I've personally never used it. I'm probably missing out. So... Sell it to me. Sell it to me some more. 
will this project please load please load please load yeah it's almost done almost done you just gotta wait for every killer it's oh god <laughs> Also, my FL's been having problems lately where it will, like, normally it shouldn't be at this, the CPU shouldn't be at this level, but for some reason it's like, no, fuck you, I'm gonna abuse the heck out of your CPU. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff missing. I'll just, I'll just de deconstruct the drop and try my best to remember exactly how I did things. Uh... For anyone that's not heard the track before, it sounds like this. part how is how are their samples missing in that part i'm going to sue i'm going to sue what is this oh no come back to me uh anti-social you're kidding how do i not have the sample anymore that sucks anywho let's get into it real quick we got a bunch of plucks got the pluck for master oh i'm using serum that's different even for me so we got a bunch of layers. This is a this is a um, layer playing certain things all at the same time. Was that the Crash Bandicoot fling? Uh, no, it's just a random one, I guess. <laughs> Where is this sample? Yeah, there it is. I have a I have a bunch of uh, Anna Barbera sounds here. I just took it from there. <laughs> Corny ass sounding bling sound there. Um, but yeah, let me deconstruct this pluck preset here. So we have. A clap adding on to like the pluckiness or the transient of the overall sound. So if you see that I take it off, it's like responsible for like 30% of the whole overall sound. This is, let me just lock this. Uh, this is three times OSC. One of the layers is three times OSC being bit crushed, I think, or not. Oh God, I'm doing a lot of, I'm doing a lot of routing in here I, that I can't remember how I did. have fruity lsd in the mixer somewhere uh yeah we got fruity lsd with the marimba preset in an eq some stereo widening with serum effects going into uh a bus over here which has 
the compressor for some reason. Compressor, the EQ, some. So I took the blur white preset in Convolver over here and added like a little volume automation so it's short. So it gives the, the overall sound like just a bit more widening and um, a bit more widening and room boomy room sounding room stuff i suck at explaining things <laughs> but every producer in here knows what that's for anyway oh uh if you're curious about the chord progression this is what it looks like anyone that knows music theory can deconstruct this pause deconstruct this and tell everyone else that they what they need to know because I know nothing. Oh, I also have... Uh, I just gotta figure out where the... Where is this thing? So we got effects for the plucks. There we go. A little sine wave adding like accentuating the rhythm of the song i think it has like a little bit of reverb on it i'm not sure if it does no it's got nothing on it just a sine wave going into the bus that i have for all the other plucks then we've got the bass this thing kind of posing as the sub which is like a layer of armor with the pluck it's a sine wave with the pluck knob at this point serum what there is no way i'm using serum in this project there is no way Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I use stock for most of the processing, but sometimes maybe. Yeah, the serum. I I I've, who would have thought? <laughs> I don't. I barely use serum these days. And then some kind of like noise layer in serum again. What? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? He's using serum. E. All the layers sound like this. I am a fraud. I actually use third party plugins. Nah, third party plugins are goaded. I just wish my CPU wouldn't suffer when I use them. Serum's dying. Everyone else is moving back to Massive. There's a lot of people I know that still use, still use Massive. Um, okay, after this, I'm gonna... Let me see. We got a little... Add here, for some reason. Comes in every so often. Alright, let's move on to the vocal chops. This is an acapella... I always use uh, Sherry W's acapellas. If anyone has ever listened to any of my catharsis stuff, like from way back, uh, she featured on a song that we made together called Catch Me. Um, sounds like... Uh, let me try and find it. Catch Me. Because I'm lazy. Uh... I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but uh, shit, I have no access to the, I have no access to the chat through here. It's fine anyway. Catharsis is good at all, man. Thank you. I need to like at some point in my life, I really need to write Catharsis too. Like, I, I want Catharsis too to be like. Hey, this is how much of progress in production, and this is what you're gonna get. Ugh, but like making and mixing catharsis really killed me back in the day. Actually, every song, every full song that anyone makes 
kills them because mixing is tough. Writing, like, uh, writing in, con in conjunction with mixing is just extremely hard. Did Johnny do that art? I don't, uh, actually, who did this art? I can't remember, actually. Can't remember who did the art. It's not, uh, I, used to, I used to know. It was a long time ago. I have no idea who, who did the art. Yo, changing with me and Lenny Rose. That song was crazy to work on because like everything just poured out of out of me. I didn't really like have to think much. Everything was just like naturally coming together and um the, the song like finished itself in two days and i don't think a fluke like that will ever maybe it will maybe it won't but a fluke like that will never happen again because <laughs> normally it takes me like a week to finish a whole song okay uh but anyway what i was getting at is you know this is a sherry w a cappella of a different song that we tried to start but never actually like got around to finishing called waters um i don't know if i still have the song around uh but basically all the all the chops are in going through going through a picture into a ott eq uh there's some delay some fruity delay uh patcher with a little bit of reverb on it that's being compressed for some reason and then fruity mute whenever i need to like sh uh shut them up because the reverb on this goes on for way too long uh what do i do first it's like drums or melody it's either one or the other um it's never like like i'll start drums because drums are like the um cornerstone of every song they're going to be the main element in the song that's gonna make it sound good so like if your drums are good the rest of the song is gonna be good so most often i start with drums but for me like m melodies it's useful to also start with melodies because um focusing on writing the track is good too but um yeah it's either one or the other like if i start with drums the drums are gonna start strong or if i start with melody the melody the melody's gonna be strong or really good you just joined um we're deconstructing one of my unreleased tracks tropical and it's like one of the most requested tracks in my discord everyone's always like why won't you finish tropical i'm like it's hard look at this look at it it's hard <laughs> how many stuff how much stuff there is i mean i kind of have a i gotta have a second drop for it but like it's literally i just duplicated it But what I need to do is just make this second drop like slightly different. Discord, yes, I have a Discord. It's at the bottom. Um, my Discord is not very active. Um, but join if you would like to spam memes in general. We spam memes in general in my group in my Discord. So have fun with that. Play. I want to hear the breakdown. Okay. God, you have to yell at me for it there's not much in it this sounds awesome delete it say less <laughs> uh, imagine if i couldn't undo to bring it back <laughs> let's go hell yeah let's see what did i just talk about i talked about the chops 
Yep. Oh, on top of the uh, plucks as well, there's also these here that I layer. Which, like, add some, uh, I, I like to call them seventh notes, because, like, all you do is literally, like, resample the, like, main sound, and then, like, just raise the oct the, the pitch of it, like, seven semitones, seven cents or semitones up, and, yeah get that like um that top those top harmonic harmonizing uh, chords that make it sound like this <laughs> they sound like ed sheeran shape of you don't you ever compare me to that song ever no nah, it, it does and it doesn't it's like i think that ed sheeran song is just, is just um it's just a uh, sine wave, but I do I I, I use mar we, we use marimbas here. Ed Sheeran better. Uh, what am I? What else? What else? What else? That's a bit of random layering to add. This is a sine wave that's dropping. I think that sine wave is three times OSC. Yes, it is. Um, we also got these. If this thing could just not, where's, where's the stutter? Where's the stutter layer? Where's the stutter layer? Where you at? Where you at, boy? Come here so I can turn you off. Where you at? 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 Oh! Let's see, I already talked about that. This is um, a resampled version of the main sound that I've just stretched out. Layers on top of that nicely. Without it, it just sounds very empty. Let's see. Um, let's move on to the drums. We'll deconstruct the drums, the drummy boys. So we got the kick. I don't know which kick I'm using here, but uh, let's see. Uh, kick here. Oh, a few layers for the kick. So that's the side chain. That's how it. This is how I do my side chain. Uh, a little white noise on top to like you know just fill up those top frequencies. We've got this layer here, which probably is acting as the transient. I think. No, okay. this is the transient, and this is, yeah. Wait, let me. Since I know what polarity is, hang on. Okay, that one sounds better. <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> Just peeps your SoundCloud. I definitely like this cooler tone you chose here. Hey, thank you. Damn, I missed a bunch of stuff in the chat. Marimba equals that Ed Sheeran song. God damn. Uh, I'm chilling. Yo, Dazi, what's up, man? Uh, do you have any? Do you have a flume type of song in your project? Flume type of song? I probably do. It's just probably buried like underneath a whole lot of other stuff, and I've probably forgotten what it's called. No, this ain't Lax City. This is Lax City. Lax Village. Hello. 
Hey baby, how are you, Lex? I'm doing good. Eaten. Played a bunch of a watch. Got a bunch of wins in. Announced the Alex. Oh yeah, by the way, listen to the Alex Martian uh, remix of Amends when it drops tomorrow. If you guys don't know what Amends is, it's one of my songs. I ran like a remix competition a while back. We got a bunch of winners. Um, and we're just releasing all the um, top three weekly. So tomorrow... The Alex Martian remix of Amends is dropping. Um, I'm going to send the pre-save real quick. If I can find this. If I can find this anywhere. Anywhere. It's on my Discord server too. I know people don't care much for pre-saves, but I'm obligated to do this anyway. So you guys are just going to... It's just going to have to deal, cope, seethe, mold, whatever. Check it out. Alex Martian Remix dropping tomorrow. It's really good. It's like a chilled version of the Immense Remix. Actually, I might play it soon after I'm done with this um, with this breakdown. Let's see. I uh, don't even know how we end up friends on Steam. Friends on Steam? What's your name on Steam? Wait. Random dude on Steam who you thought was your roommate or something. I do, re yeah, I do remember like asking someone, "Oh, is this so and so?" But like, uh, you might need to remind me what your name is. Oh, it's nuts, be beans, and more. Is that still your name, or did you change it recently? In any case, <laughs> thanks for tuning into the stream. Uh, I'm still not sure how we, like, met, met, like, how we initially met in the first place. Show drum processing, I will get to it pretty soon. So I already showed you the kick and all its glorious layers. We got the transient layer, and this is, like, the body of the kick. All together sounds like this. And then we got the snare, which I'm assuming is a bunch of layered uh, layers and things. Oh, no, it's just two things. So it's this and that. Uh, let me just unlock this. Yep. It's this. It's got an EQ on it. Actually, I forgot to try. I forgot to show the processing on the kick. So basic kick and compressor setup over here. But the um, overall processing of the drums is in this bus, and it's oh my god, that's a lot of lot of stuff. It's a compressor C2. How am I how am I using C2 in this project? What? That is illegal. That's not allowed. Lexity is not allowed to use C2 anymore. This is not allowed. No. Uh we got an EQ. That's kind of brightening up the low and highs, I'm assuming. Actually, before the C2, I had this limiter in here, and I just really wanted the drums to hit harder. So I think that's why I'm using C2 in here. Why does your 808 go poom instead of pwam? I don't know. Nothing's wrong with C2, it's just that when I use FabFilter stuff, it like starts messing up my CPU. And I don't know why. No, it's it's great. Uh, C2 is great. I'm just like skeptical about using third party stuff. Because like, doesn't this stuff use, um, doesn't this stuff use my graphics card too? Like I swear, it, I swear it does or something. I don't know. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure what this Convolver is doing. Um, but I think it's just some some uh, reverb so that the uh, drums sound boomier and bigger and more spacious. Oh my god, Covens. Yo. Uh, how much more... Can an EQ do? How does your pluck low end sound so clean? Um, I don't know. Why does it sound clean? We shall find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball P. So I've got the 
This is like the sub, the bottom of the sub, and maybe the top end of the sub, and it's got an EQ like this that's like pushing down the low end. Oh god, it's even distorting. Um, and then we've got this top plug here, which is like being cut off, so that it leaves room for this sub. Uh, and then both of these are going into this bass master here. OTT? What? What? Oh, jeez. Okay, what? That's nuts. Well, there's your answer. That's why it sounds clean. There's this EQ cutting off this region. Or I would just lower down this region over here. And I'm, mono, I'm monoing the uh, sub over here. And that's going into all plugs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this there's a fair it's a fairly there's a lot of routing going on in this project. <laughs> Starting to think this is not the real Lax City. <laughs> I swear, I am not an imposter. Don't throw me out of the ship. Please. Laxity is cancelled because he actually doesn't use stock plugins. Okay, I lied. Okay, I sometimes use them. Like every so often, but like these days, I'm 100% stocks. So don't worry. Unless I need... Uh, unless I need some like crazier processing then I use third party party plugins. Um hmm. what's next? What's next on here? Oh yeah. We're still on drums. Um so that's the snare that we just covered. We got some symbols some effects. Um we got Ride cymbals, hi hats, or makeshift hi hats, which is like some a bunch of mad pie like sound design sound design mud pies that I've made in the past. Just a bunch, just a bunch of squeakly noises, a bunch of sci-fi noises. I can break down how I make these later on if you guys want. So I've just put them all in like a sampler and. This kind of just drives the overall gro groove of the drums a bit more. We got a UK garage loop over here. Somehow. Black City UK, UK garage when? How the fuck, Squidward walk? <laughs> True. You think three times OSC is better than Serum? I think they're both good. Three times OSC and th Serum are good because they both generate sine waves, saw waves, wa wave tables, etc. Actually, you know, Serum's better. Serum is better because it can do FM synthesis. Three times OSC can't do FM synthesis, so therefore Serum is better. But three times OSC is still useful for so many things. Like I don't think you can, you, you, I don't think you can compare the two because uh, Serum is like, how can I put this? Serum is. <laughs> They're both very good because they generate sound. <laughs> Now that you say it like that, I kind of it, it kind of sounds but it's true. They they generate sound and they're both good. And that's all you ever need. That's all I'm saying. And it has better distortion, better filtering, better additive. Yeah, uh Serum already has everything built in, has all the effects built in. Three times OSC doesn't. But if you like take three times OSC, three times OSC has access to all the plugins the processing plugins in FL and you can make it sound amazing 
by manipulating all the stock sounds. But then again, so does Serum. Serum is better. Okay, Serum is better overall. <laughs> There's your answer. They have their, their, they each have their pros and cons. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see, I already talked about this loop. We have a bunch of a little bit of accents here and there in the drum layers. Just some fills and whatnot. Um, already said, I already talked about that. Crash cymbals. Yeah, that's pretty much drums. But as for the drum processing on my bus, there is... I already said this. I already went through this anyway. Q, EQ, C2, Convolver, and a filter for these sections. So it just kind of opens and closes. I'm not the face of FL yet because I'm not proactive. I don't, so I'm not a self-starter. I should, what I should do is hit up image line and be like, hey, hi, my name is Laxity. I've been producing for 10 years and I know your software pretty well. Can I be the face of your, uh, can I be a power user please? And they'll probably say yes. I just haven't done that yet because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> but I'm 100% sure I could get I could get power user status. But like that wouldn't really make a difference. I just get my face on Image Line's website even though I have simped for Image Line for years. <laughs> just there's like a bunch of what 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 is that doing there oh i was trying to be i was trying to be cool and layer some random stuff on top but i don't think that's don't think that ever fit it's a cool growl though what happens when you get power user status? I just become known as a person that uses FL that has clout, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There's not a lot to it. That's actually one of the reasons why I'm not proactively like going for it, you know? Yeah, there's YouTubers in there, there's famous people. It's, yeah, the power user page is the FL Studio user hall of fame, basically. I want, it's not really like something I'm like down bad for, you know? Break, break. Fuck you, break. It won't crash. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, that's the drop to Tropical. You're welcome. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do after that. But, like, I will run through some stuff that I've, like... I would just kind of talk about harmless for a bit because oh my it harmless is like very very underrated super underrated like i think more people should use it i haven't i've only just started using it but the my favorite thing about harmless is the like how thick the bass is the low end sounds like just just listen and you can make it I bet you could make a really nasty 808 in this thing. Let's see. Um, how do I automate the pitch? There's a way to automate pitch. I just cannot remember how for the life of me.
God. Oh, another thing is like right like when you load the default preset in harmless right now all the things are in re-triggered mode i don't know if anyone knows most people know what re-triggered mode is uh for synths but basically the starting phase will always be re-triggered if this phase knob is to the right but if you put it to the left like all the voices are random The problem is, it sounds like glass and it's terrible sounding. Harmless 808s? Why is that ironic? Why is that ironic? I don't understand. Harmful 808s. Harmless. Oh, wait, I just got it. I just got it. I'm slow. I'm so, I'm, I'm very slow. <laughs> Show us a DMB project. Okay. Um, I got you, actually. Doofus. I made some progress on... Uh, I'm, I don't know if anyone's... If most of you have heard my... Uh, 26th birthday mix. I had a DMB song in there called I'm Doofus, which is like a really, like, I think it's just one of my favorite tracks that I've ever made in a while. Hell is crashing, isn't it? Oh, it's done. <laughs> sound like that. But why does it sound compressed? What is going on? Sorry, I, I kind of just zoned out there because I really, I really do love this track. I actually, yeah, I actually had a different version of this track. And then I changed the drums in like the current version. Good question. Oh no, uh, OBS has a limiter on it. Thank you. 
Yeah, this one. But like, that's the thing. Um, the, the way I've mixed this track sounds better on my monitors than this track. Like on this on this version, everything sounds boxy on monitors, and then this one's more like everything's brighter and like all the kick transients hit correctly. It correctly. Oh, I'm so technical. I'm so pro. Yeah, I might need to reduce them actually. They're very, very punchy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get, I get so lost in this track, I'm just like, did I make this? It does need, it does need some more mix down work, um, but like, trust me, this mix down sounds better on my monitors. Uh, I don't know how like professional audio engineers or producers do it. Maybe my room isn't, uh, it's because my room isn't treated and I'm prob I'm not allowed to uh, treat my room. I would add like um, sound panels and maybe rearrange things in my room, but I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to stick things on the wall, which is uh, it's lame. Gotta move into my own place or move to a place that allows me to like stick stuff on the walls. Um, but yeah, it is. So I can't really I can't really tell if what I'm mixing on my monitors is actually um what I'm what is that? Hold on. Yeah, I can't tell like what on um everything on my monitors, I can't tell if that's like um correctly mixed. Because I haven't listened to a lot of uh, songs on my monitors because obviously I would get noise complaints. I have had noise complaints before, so I don't use them as often as I sh should. Get your own house, build the perfect studio. That is the dream. That is the goal. When I can when I, when I can afford a deposit on a house, that's the goal. It's every producer's dream, actually. Do you guys want me to break this down, break this track down or I'm not even sure how I made this loop? I'm not even sure if I made that. If I made this loop in this project, but yeah, uh, this loop is one random thing from my recorded samples folder. Which is, that's the original, that's what that sounds like. I just pitched it up a little bit. So in the intro is just that and uh, this. Th 
this uh, vocal is literally just a slowed down version of the main chop. Because I am very lazy and uh, didn't want to do something different in the intro. In the second half of the intro, we have this lead. Which is... Citrus, hell yeah. Wait, kilohertz distortion? What is that? I have never heard of, heard of this in my entire life. Sin, sin. Um, yeah. Distortion, limiter that I've turned off for some reason. Why did I turn that off? Oh, it's quieter. Some EQ. Atcher with some delay on it and reverb. Um, I think this is either a volume knob or it's sidechain, I'm not sure. We got hi-hats to build tension, uh, effects and crashes down here. Um, and now we get into the drop, same loop on at the top, uh, I think I, I'm not sure where I got this from, I think it's a vengeance sample that I like resampled and put there. Uh, we have this bass, I think it's one of my neural, uh, neural, wait, no it's not. Okay, uh, before this, I had like a Nero, um, Nero bass that I just low passed, but I changed it again and just left it as a sine wave and distorted the heck out of it, which I think is being done by this fruity limiter over here. Um, we got an EQ, just taking out like all the mud in the mids and low, just to like make it cleaner. Another one to, you know, take off this stuff here. I think this is sidechain and that's gain. So I can like automate the volume of it coming in like this. So it's, uh, feels a little, little bit more dynamic. Um, I think that's pretty much the bulk of like all the Thing. Oh, uh, so this is an interesting way I'm doing my chops. Well, it's literally what Fruity Slicer is for. But um, I found that this is the, probably the best way to chop vocals. Because you can just take any random vocal. And it's going to chop everything up for you. And can you, just, you can just like um, add notes in time with the song. And like what's amazing about this is that you can go here right click here go to find pitch and just change the pitch of like if you like a particular phrase or a particular um let me just mute everything like let's say let's say you hit you hear this and you like the sound of it but it's not in pitch with your song you can just go da 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 And I, th I find that I find that it's so useful to do that instead of like just piss around in the playlist chopping up an audio file. Like you get the most. You can also like play the chops live. If if the chop or the acapella that you've put in slicers and key, you can also play it live just to get like a sense of like what you um what you wanna what you want the chops to sound like, and then you can like fix everything in the piano roll afterwards. Um, let's see, that's vocals. Actually, I forgot to go over the effects as well. So the effects are, Jesus, that's a lot of effects. Maximus, I think that, that yeah, that's doing some de-essing. Q3, get out of here. Thin, thin, what are you doing here? No, uh, OTT. A patcher with some delay on it uh like it's delay and it's being eq'd 
uh, the way I wanted it to be EQ'd. Um, an EQ to clean everything up. Killer Hearts Reverb. Yeah, gross. Um, uh, a filter. Like an EQ that's acting like a filter. I believe this is the sidechain. Um, and then just an EQ. Um, because I think it was clipping the overall mix, so I just like turned it down just slightly. Um, yeah, this the bulk of the song is pretty much the drums. Actually, I haven't even gone through the drums yet. Can't exactly remember what I'm doing here, but I'm doing the thing I usually do, which is using a layer for all my samples. That is a that is a really hard hitting kick, by the way. Oh, Jesus. So I am bass boosting this kick, uh, EQing it like this. <laughs> Weird. We got a transient shape. Transient shape. No, no. I'm going to keep reacting to this every time I find a third party <laughs> plugin in, in my project. Um, yeah, I should probably use the normal L transient shaper because this transient shaper processor is super underrated but i think the transient the the kilohertz one is introducing all these oh my god how is that possible what okay this thing is nuts it's able to do this go from this to that that's crazy Oh, that's why. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> There's a culprit. That's why that's happening. Uh, and then a limiter with... <laughs> I know, I know. Limiter with the saturation down so it doesn't, like, clip. And all, the, all my drums are going into this bus with knock on it. EQ with a filter, transient processor, a limiter knock if you don't have this plugin please get it i am not sponsored by decap or anything like that but it is so good if you don't have it already it's so good decap plugin yeah <laughs> uh very way very very way more stronger very way more stronger indeed Knock is the solution to all your kick processing problems that you uh that you need. Wait, hang on. My ma I think my manager might be manager might be messaging me over something. Yes, he is. Oh, okay, I gotta do I gotta do a bunch of things after this. Yeah, just give me one sec. I've gotta sort something out.
Okay, sorry about that. Um, might need to go in a sec because there's a bunch of important things I need to sort out. It's uh, stuff to do with US shows I'm excited about that I'll be announcing like later on in a few, like in a month or so. Um, but yeah, okay, let me just find someone we can raid and then I'll just end things here. Yeah, sorry, sorry, like, I know I wasn't done with this breakdown, but, like, there's some important shit that's just come up. Gotta head off. Okay, uh, is there any FL people streaming right now? Gotta support my fellow FL people. Or if you guys know anyone we could just raid real quick, put their username in the comments and we got them. We got their backs. Gun boy, hmm. I know. Da I've watched Gun Boy streams before, and I know damn well this this nigga is not gonna notice anything. But anyway, you guys enjoy some Gun Boy. <laughs> Let's see. Raid. Do, 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 do. All right. Thank you all so much for coming. I gotta stream more often. Honestly. Um, make sure you check out the Alex Martian remix of Men's dropping tonight, I think. Midnight Everywhere. Um, yeah, that's all. I, I suck at plugging in stuff. But yeah, thanks for coming. I'll see you guys next time I stream. Uh, let's see. Raid. Raider. Raider. Is the awkward wait till I can click the right now button. Good night, good night. Okay.